In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Katie Lehman Lie Flat Notebook. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a paper test, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this notebook coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. So this is the Katie Lehman Lay Flat Notebook. This notebook has its specs on the cover, front and center, and also on the spine of the notebook. Interesting that they do that, but let's go through them. It's blank, it's 300 pages, so 150 sheets. It's 100 GSM paper. It's made in England, the company was established in 2010, and it has a lay flat binding. Oh, and in case you didn't know what this object was, it's a notebook. So, on the spine, notebook, 300 blank pages, lay flat binding, made in England, and volume 4. I'm not 100% sure what this volume thing is about. I've noticed that different designs of this same notebook, or rather this notebook with a different cover, have different volume numbers, so I guess it just relates to the design, maybe. And then on the back, we have Katie Lehman, Life Flat Collection, their website, 2019, and I guess the model number for this notebook. So in terms of the design, I think that this is an interesting looking notebook. It, because of it has so many sheets, it sort of has a paperback look to it. It has these sharp corners, and there is sort of a, a diamond fine diamond texture to the cover, which is like a cardboard or paper. There are 15 signatures, and it's called a lay flat binding, and it does lay pretty flat. It's not the most flexible, but it's pretty good. And I mean, especially for a book this big, or with this many pages, I do find that it, it works quite nicely. Now, the paper is blank, and, you know, they put blank on here, making me think that, oh, there must be a ruled version, or a grid version, or a dot version. I haven't been able to find the dot, or ruled, or grid versions of this notebook on the Katie Lehman website or any other website. I'm thinking these only come in blank, which is too bad because I like ruled. You'll notice that there are these two lines on this side of the notebook, front and back, and that is just providing more flexibility for that cover depending on where you are in the notebook, sort of those folds will kind of activate. Uh, so when you're at the end over here, you'll see that the other two will kind of come into play. It helps the cover not get in the way of the binding as much. So good feature there. The other thing I'd point out is that it's pretty easy to bump the cor these sharp corners, and especially because the cover is flush with you know the main book block here, it's pretty, I would say, prone to, to damage. It really is, like I said, like a, a paperback book in a lot of ways. And I, and I do like that. I think this is a good looking notebook. I also like that this notebook is made in England. I don't have a lot of notebooks. I'm trying to think, do I have any notebooks that are being made in England? So I do like that aspect of this notebook. So let's let's get into it. It's there's no paste down. It's blank pages right away. It's stitch binding, no headband. Again, there's no real features here. So one thing I'll, I'll point out is even though it's 100 GSM, you know, a guide sheet does work with this. So you can use it with a, a guide sheet, which I like to, but I mean, if you want to draw on this or do whatever, you don't need a guide sheet. So let's go to the paper test here. Okay. 
So we do get some feathering. I don't see much in the way of it on the pilot. However, on the Mont Blanc, we do get some fuzziness here. So with heavier inks, we do, we do get some feathering. Even I would say on the Lamy CP1, the extra fine, I don't know if the nib is cutting into the paper a little bit, but we get a, a fuzziness. Also, interestingly, the Sharpie, a little fuzziness there. I think it's maybe just the, the ink going into crevices in the paper. It's a pretty smooth paper. I'm not really seeing any other issues here. I mean, again, just notice how kind of blurry the markers look. It's kind of interesting. I'm not sure what that is about exactly. The website does say that this is a fountain pen friendly paper. And based on my tests, I think I would concur with that. We have no bleed from any of the fountain pens. Even though we had that kind of feathery look, I'm not sure if it's exactly feathering, but it doesn't translate to bleed on the other side. We do get a little bit of spotting from the rollerball pens, so maybe not the best for rollerballs, but pretty good for fountain pens, you know, Sharpie fail, oil drawing pen, Stetler, Lumocolor, the permanent marker, and the Copic sketch did bleed through. Now, just doing another little bit more testing, even with a double pass on the Pilot Parallel, no bleed. So the paper is very fountain pen friendly. One thing I will say is the paper is a little bit gray in color. So like compared to this, you can see this is more of a pure white, whereas this is noticeably gray. Okay, that is it. It's a nice notebook. I I like this. It's, it's heavy because there's so many pages in it. So what are my pros and cons for the Katie Lehman Lie Flat Notebook? The biggest pro is definitely the paper. It's very fountain pen friendly. It's smooth. It's 100 GSM, so you get pretty minimal ghosting. It's very nice to write on. I also like the, the form factor of this notebook. It's 300 pages, so it kind of looks like a paperback book. It comes with a lot of, there are a lot of different options for the style of the cover. I do like this more clean, simple one. It just has a very nice aesthetic to it. In terms of cons, I don't like that it only comes in blank, or at least I've only been able to find it in blank. I would much prefer ruled or grid. It's not the end of the world. The guide sheet works fine with this notebook. The other downside I would say is, well, as you can see, it's very easy to kind of bump the, the corners of this notebook. Uh, more so than other notebooks that I, I have. It's, you know, it's a paper cover. It's, it's very easy to damage. Other cons would be the price, $27. Pretty expensive. So those are my pros and cons for the Katie Lehman Lie Flat Notebook. Do you guys have this notebook? Do you like this notebook? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much, and until next time.